Hey everybody, so today is April the 9th, 2017, Sunday morning, and I am on my way to work, and I just want to talk about something that I feel, you know, some type of way about. Um, I hear people all the time talk about image and branding and putting out there what you want people to think of you and right now like this is how I feel okay for example Chris Brown is somebody that I really really like I'm a big fan of his I went to his concert when he came to Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, back in the day, he did something to Rihanna. So that was a big old big deal and stuff like that. So he lost a couple of fans. He gained a couple of fans. I didn't feel no type of way or any different about him. And why is because yeah, he should, I mean, I don't condone that, what he did, but who he is as an artist, who he is at heart, who we know him for when he came out, that's what's important to me. That's what I know him for. Like, what I know that's inside of Chris Brown, not something that happened one time and, oh, you can't listen to his music, you can't follow him, you can't rock with him. Okay, that was something that happened one time. He knew that he was wrong for it, and he apologized for it. That does not make him or define him for what he has done. Like, that does not. And I hate that people associate him with as a woman beater and all this stuff. But that does not define Chris Brown. I'm trying to think of another example. Um... I can't really think of nothing right now. But my whole point of this video is that, okay, you know who you are. Whether you dress upscale, low class, whatever, I don't know. Whether you choose to have black hair, purple hair, red hair, orange, green, rainbow, you are you at the end of the day. The only thing that you change was your hair color. Who you are for life is who you are for life. What you know and believe in your heart is, is what you know and believe in your heart. An image is just something that people picture you as. It's a picture. It's a visualization of what somebody thinks or sees of you or an image that they see. It does not define the human being or the person or the thing. That's not the definition of you. So, I had a modeling page and I post some pictures of me in some lingerie and I post a couple of pictures with me in some lingerie. And that's because I, I said, well, I want to do all feels, but if that wasn't what my photographer wanted to go with, then I wouldn't have did it. Like, I wouldn't have uh, went with that lingerie stuff. I would have been cool not to do it or to do it. It didn't, didn't really matter to me. But I feel like modeling is of all things. And I've been asked this question if I see my daughter wear something like that. So, not in the age that she's in because I would be very disappointed because I never did nothing like that at the age she's at right now. But if she was older enough and she wanted to model and she did pictures of lingerie, why should that make me mad as long as she's not fully naked out there doing pornography? Why should that make me mad that she's taking a picture 
And the lingerie that I had on was a one-piece lingerie. It was not um, a two-piece. It was not a bra and panties. It was a one-piece. So if she takes a picture in a one-piece lingerie and it's not showing much, but maybe some cleavage, why should I get mad if that's the profession that she's going into? Why should I think anything less of my daughter because she's she's modeling in, in lingerie? Like, I don't understand it. A lot of people is judgmental, and yes, I understand that. But being me and who I am, I don't care what people think about me or say or whatever. I don't really care because at the end of the day, it's me. It's it's who I am at the end of the day. And um, if you don't know me, you don't know me. If you know me, you know me. But don't sit here and try to make me feel bad about something that I've done, that I've done consciously. Uh, I knew what I was doing. I took pictures just to get recognition, not recognition, but exposure and the skills that I had for modeling. And those pictures was put on that page to show my modeling skills and the type of clothing or whatever field or whatever that I was doing. So if I was to get picked up by a modeling scout or an agency or whatever, then I would have some pictures of different types of things that I was doing. Of um, lingerie, some clothing that I had on, dresses and stuff like that. Like different type of things. I don't want to just be in one specific thing. Like I did different things. So, you know, like what's the big deal? What's the big deal? of the situation, what's the big deal out of it? The image that I'm putting forth, what I have to put on for people not to judge me. I'm tired of putting on for people not to judge me and I can't say or do, it's not like I'm going out here being a nasty person or talking rude or talking reckless to people. I'm not doing that at all. That's not at all what I'm doing. Like, I'm not out here disrespecting anyone, talking nasty to anyone. I'm, I'm not doing that. I'm, I'm, I'm just doing something in a field to see, you know, where I can take things. Um, I'm in the hair profession, and that's what I love, and I'm going to stick with that um, until, you know, I see otherwise or need otherwise to not but I love doing hair and that's one of the professions that I chose to do and to elevate in modeling was something recommended to me that I just decided that I was going to do and so I've done it um people that I really respect didn't like the fact that I put up uh lingerie pictures so I took them down because I was known as the sex goddess, and that's not what it was. But um, instead of them looking at the whole motive behind the situation, they assumed that I was exploiting myself and trying to be pimped or whatever they call it. So I took it down. Um, so now I'm just going to go into different stuff in that on that page and um we're going to take it a different route and just do other things. Um I did change the name on my uh Facebook page and I'm going to have the links and all that stuff down below. If I have to edit it later, I will do that. But I'm going to have that stuff all down below in the description box so you guys can go to my page. Um, what else? Uh, um, I'm also going to change the name of my YouTube page because 
it's like we're going with a different name and we're trying to brand that name so we're going with this name that you'll soon see and we're going to put it on um our pages and really push that name out so that's what we're rocking with and i hope you guys you know like the change in the name and you guys still rock with us and go forth with us um hey everybody we came to the carnival today so right now we're at the carnival me my nephew my kids my niece my mom my sister and them at the carnival all right and my kids are on the rise right now My two youngest is on that ride, the Go Gator. And my oldest kids, I think they went to get on the um the cliffhanger. And we got on that ride together. We got on the cliffhanger together. And that was a pretty little nice ride. I wanna get on this ride, the swings over here. But my nieces don't wanna get on there. Maybe later. I want to get on there. I got to go to the bathroom too, so. But it's a nice carnival. Everybody got their hands stamped. Say, come here, yo, yo. My nephew trying to get on the ride. No. You want to get on that ride? You too little to get on that ride. It's okay. So you want to get on that ride. Look, we could go in there. We're about to go in the scary the house with a slide in. So we're going to go on that. But it's been a nice day. I'm ready to get home because I'm tired, really. I didn't really want to come out here, but we came to bring the kids. So they had something to do. But we gonna get ready to go home in a little bit. So that's it for now. But we are at the carnival and I'll probably record a little bit of it. But bye.